I'm Anka Martalog, founder of Patients Magnet System from PatientsMagnet.com, also known by many as the business and marketing mentor of the naturopathic profession. Because in the last 20 years, additionally from having trained with 15 thought leaders of the world in the business and marketing areas, I also built my naturopathic practice to mid six figures twice during two different decades and two different economic climates using two different business models. And in this video series, I'd like to share with you mistakes I see most naturopaths make that stop them from building a successful practice of their dreams and living life by design. I understand as a new grad, we enter the business world with no knowledge of how to run a business, how to be entrepreneurial, ignorant of the growth stages of a practice which I call dream it, package it, attract it, leverage it, and magnify it. Today, I want to tell you about the first stage, setting the foundation for success. This is all about becoming entrepreneurial, discovering your vision, mission, finding time to do what needs to be done in the right order to decrease overwhelm and frustration. This is also about getting clear on your business vision and mission and come up with ideas for a profitable niche where you can shine as a recognized expert in this field. It is important to know how to step into your entrepreneurial power from the start, to run your practice like a business, and to help you with that, I put together a five lesson mini e-course you can get at patientsmagnet.com slash heal more people. Another thing often overlooked when starting a practice is setting a vision for your life and your business, a holistic vision of your life encompassing all aspects. Why is this important? Look, being in business for yourself isn't always easy. Quite often, actually, you will feel overwhelmed, stressed out, confused, pulled in all di di directions by ideas and new opportunities. Your clear vision will help you stay focus on what you need to stay focused and it will act like the guiding line helping you make easier decisions when it comes to choosing the ideas and the opportunities that serve you. Remember your business is the expression of your higher self and also the main way to support your lifestyle. So when, when you sit down to discover your vision, stretch yourself outside your comfort level a little bit because everything is outside your comfort area. Don't just think of what's possible for you to achieve or what you can do. So grab a piece of paper and a pen because in this video I will take you to the steps that you need to find your vision. You need a vision before you decide which steps to take. As soon as you step on the floor of your practice you're bombarded with things to do, putting you in all directions, leading to increased stress and overwhelm. If you have a strategic plan of action, you will know exactly what you need to do every day. But in order to have that, you need to, have a to be clear on your vision. You can't get a direction without the desti destination, right? Your vision is like your guiding light during turbulent times and like the, an anchor keeping you focused on what counts when you get distracted. Imagine telling your GPS in your car, get me to where I want to go and nothing else. You get nowhere, right? You need to be specific. You must have a vision before you start strategic planning. So I'll grab a pen and paper because I'll help you decide where you want to be in five years right now. By creating a vision, you create a destination and your vision will help you make the right decisions that dictate your actions to help you achieve the vision. And believe me, you'll be amazed how close you get to your vision and in fact, don't be surprised if you get exactly what you want even before your time deadline. It happened to me. In my fourth year of CCNM, I wrote down specifically everything I wanted to achieve in my practice in two years and five years down the road to the smallest details I could envision at that time. And by the time I got to the hospital, unfortunately, um, I realized that I have achieved everything. 
So don't be surprised if you have similar results, amazing results, after putting it down on paper and sharing it with people that you will know, like and trust. Now here's what you do. Step one, pick a time frame. One year, five years, ten years from now. I recommend five years because five years is not too abstract and it's not too close. So it allows you to dream comfortably. Step two, use these questions that I'm going to give you to write your first draft. draft. It's best to write it from the future um, as if it has already happened and it's very um, it's very good to be specific and have a what my mentors call big hairy audacious goals big hairy audacious goals meaning dreaming big it's good to have big dreams they are something worthy so and then this is the first paragraph this is the first paragraph I wrote for my patients magnet business when I just started it the um, the year is 2018. We have 100 naturopathic clients spread all over the continent, each making a minimum of 250,000, with some making even more. Um, our clients are like family to us, not only to us, but to each other. Our community, community is united in the common goal of bringing naturopathy to its rightful foreground in the healthcare arena. And as a result, we are a more powerful profession, we have more, we are more abundant on the individual level and we are truly changing the world into a healthier, happier and more peaceful one. Being a poor struggling naturopath is a thing of the past now. Then step three, once you wrote your first draft, get feedback, rewrite and share your vision with those who will help you implement it along with you. Now here are some questions to help you along. What does your organization, your business, your family look like in five years span from now? How do you measure success? Now be specific here. What do you refuse to do? What is your mission and your movement? What is the change that you want to create in the world? How do you feel about your business, family and health? And what are the three most important things about your business, family and health? What kind of people do you need to connect with? What kind of network do you need to build? What are some everyday tasks to go about improving your business, family and health? What are everyday tasks that you need to work on? And what's your end game? Is it working six hours a week, making six, six figures or focusing more on your family than growing your business to seven figures or something? If so, that's fine. Just write it down and be specific. Know exactly where you want to go. Don't just write down, make more money. What really makes you happy in your life? Once you have the answers, write a clear vision where of where you, your business, your health and family want to be in five years. Write it from the future as if you've already achieved your vision and you'll soon have a powerful statement that will guide you to more success. Now I hope you, this was useful for you and please leave me your comments below so I know how to help you better. Until then, live fully and make a difference.